Welcome to Arches, an innovative software platform built for institutions to inventory and manage their heritage places. Open source and web-based, Arches is freely available for organizations to implement as they see fit. This software, developed by the Getty Conservation Institute and World Monuments Fund, is both powerful and flexible. It can be customized to meet each heritage organization's requirements. Arches can accommodate both large and small inventories and can be used for a local, national, or international set of resources. Organizations can choose which base maps and map layers are incorporated into Arches. For example, what you see here is the adaptation of Arches for the City of Los Angeles. The search function in Arches gives users the ability to interrogate the data in a more focused way. Arches utilizes the semantically driven Elasticsearch engine, which takes advantage of the way the data is structured to return meaningful results. Using a single search box, users can build a finely tuned custom search by combining different terms and advanced search functions, such as the location, and time filters. The location filter allows users to spatially query the inventory. For instance, you can draw a point, line, or polygon, and then add a buffer to define a spatial filter. By enabling the time filter, the search results can be further restricted by adding a date range. Within search, a user can also explore the relationship between resources, such as that between an architect and multiple heritage resources. By viewing the related resources graph, previously unknown relationships can be revealed. With Arches, organizations can decide how much access to data they want to provide to each user. Some users can be given full access to all the data with the ability to edit records, while others might only be able to view information on certain resources that are relevant to them. For users with editing privileges, the Arches Data Entry Interface is designed to be easy and intuitive. Users can add new resources, edit existing entries, and create data relationships without having specialized training. For example, location information for a resource can be added with relative ease by drawing a polygon or a combination of geometries directly onto the base map. In addition to recording other types of information, such as descriptions and classifications, Arches accommodates image or file uploads and allows users to define the relationships between different resources. Arches also provides ways to record the condition of the resources, as well as an evaluation of their significance. As shown here, data entry is as simple as typing or selecting from each organization's agreed-upon drop-down lists. These lists are defined and controlled within Arches in the Reference Data Manager module. Controlling vocabularies enforces consistency and searching works more effectively. The data is highly compatible and can be shared with others. This is only a glimpse of one of the behind-the-scenes tools included in Arches, one that will remain unseen by most users of the system. In fact, Arches automatically structures all of the system data in compliance with international standards. This key characteristic of the system is significant. By complying with international standards, Arches helps to ensure data interoperability and data longevity, regardless of future advances in technology.